All right, so the map has been found, the bandit has been somewhat exposed, and Jared and his girlfriend are now $5,000 richer. So how did Jared figure this out? Because I wanna know, I will admit I was a little off, but I have found myself to where Jared found the map. And the way I got here was that I took State Street to Gary Lane, which is Glenwood on the north side, and then I took Gary Lane to Hill Road Parkway, and then I took Hill Road Parkway and hung a left on Bogart, and then I hung a left on Sloan, and now here I am in the general area, which we will get to more specifically in just a moment. But that is the four, le the four different streets from State Street, if you remember that clue. See, and I'll tell you why I thought it was at Road Skate Park, because there are four different streets that surround Road Skate Park, but enough about me and my completely incorrect guess. So that's how I got to where Jared found the map. Now we're gonna break down some of the pieces and figure out exactly what some of the picture clues meant and some of the stuff that stumped, not just me, some of the other 12 listeners. So first off, if you remember the photo clue, that was, I think Jared called these the yellow dome things, which apparently ACHD approved and put into a code uh, a couple years ago that they had to be in new development. So that's how Jared knew to look specifically for these. And if you look, it looks like plastic and they are little domes that are on these and they're on each of the corners by the cross. Right, one of the most disputed uh, photo clues that we got was of this wrought iron fence right here. And if you're like me, you actually had no clue what it was, but um, some of our listeners were trying to figure out exactly what it was. It was zoomed in really close on these watermarks from the sprinklers out here. So the reason that I guessed Road Skate Park was from that video where you can see the bandits skating on this skate park. Well, that was one of the most debated clues that we got, and I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one who assumed then it was at a skate park, and there were skate parks all over the Treasure Valley being bombarded with people looking for the map. Well, what that clue actually meant was, as you can see, I'm in a park right now, and this is where the map was found, but the clue was that it was, uh, the map was within 100 feet of where you can skate, and where you can park, but not so much a skate park. So today's photo clue at eight o'clock was of a slide, and it wasn't the actual slide that the bandit wanted. That wasn't the specific slide. What the bandit had said was, if you see colors like this, then you're on the right track, you're close, whatever the specific words were. So you weren't looking for that exact slide. Jared took that, came back out here, and that's what actually brought him back out here to this park, uh, was that eight o'clock photo clue. So here he is, and he's out here, and I'm taking this from what he told me this morning in the studio, and he was walking around, and he just started, like, feeling underneath things. So he's feeling, and he said that he did find it under a slide, but I'm going to guess just from meeting Jared, he doesn't have any kids, he's probably not that familiar with playgrounds and what's going to come when he does have kids. Jared, these are actually steps. This right here, slide, steps. So anyways, Jared is out here feeling around, going like this, and... Ooh, he finds, let's see if I can get this off. Ooh, it is, the bandit did good. Okay, bad knee going down. Huh. This is what Jared found, the other half of the Velcro. So the map was Velcroed way up underneath there. If you could tell, like my arm was up there to about there. So the map was Velcroed underneath here and then he opened up the map and it took him on his journey to expose the bandit for $5,000.